hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made all these i made this on my kids birthday party and they enjoyed it you guys they loved it and if you've watched the vlog already you should know by now that i told you guys i was going to film a separate video on this recipe so here we go <laughs> and i hope you stay tuned to the end of this video to see how i prepared all of these um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at the end and the please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and without further ado let's start cooking so here are the ingredients i'm going to be using for this recipe i'll be using three large red bell peppers and this bottle tomatoes or tomato <laughs> I know um, you must have seen this bottle tomato in my recipe videos a lot if you've been watching my recipe videos and I love it I love that they added fresh basil leaf to it which is curry leaves as some people may call it it smells so good and it's my favorite tomato so far and this is a leftover um, thin tomato paste I used half previously and in this video i'm going to be using the remaining half i'll be using two white onions if you want you can use the red or the purple onion i'll be using some scotch bonnet pepper that size of ginger and two garlic cloves next i'll be adding some bay leaves curry powder salt of course <laughs> and this ariosto meat seasoning this is so good for seasoning your meat i'll be adding thyme as well nutmeg and vegetable oil and then i'll be using paprika as well now in a pot i'm going to add the chicken i'm using the soft one Add some salt now I'm going to be adding the Ariosto seasoning if you don't have this seasoning you can make do with whatsoever seasoning you have and I'm going to be adding some thyme as well I'm going to be adding some curry powder just to give this chicken a very nice yellowish color then i'm going to be adding my seasoning cube this seasoning cube is specially for you know jollof rice um yeah rice basically but i decided to use it to season the chicken because why not <laughs> so i'm going to be adding some onion i already gone ahead to slice the two onions so i just added a little in the meat and i added some water just almost at the same level with the meat so while that is cooking i'm going to go ahead and blend the red bell peppers the the scotch bonnet the ginger and the garlic and i'm going to be adding the bottle tomato as well rinse the bottle because nothing goes to waste <laughs> so i'm going to cover it that's the only water i'm adding to this i don't need to add too much water i just covered it and blended till everything was smoothly blended and now I'm going to transfer this into a clean pot and I'm going to cook until the water is almost or completely dried. So while that is on fire, I went ahead to mix my, my chicken marinade, not marinade, my, my chicken brush. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but I added some of the Ariosto seasoning. I added some chili pepper and I'm adding some paprika. I'm going to be adding some of the maize oil. You can use the um, olive oil if you want. And I'm going to be adding some soy sauce to this. 
and this is what is going to give the chicken a um, kind of a dark color making it look as if it's burnt but not really burnt so after mixing that together i set it aside and here is the chicken all cooked through so i transferred it into my baking pan and i'm going to brush the chicken with the um, mixture the thing we mixed earlier just making sure i brushed it thoroughly and as you can see i did it only on one side of the chicken i'm going to put it in the oven to grill for 10 minutes and i I'm going to bring it back and brush the other side. So while that is in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and parboil my rice and I'm using seven cups of rice. Yes, that's the cup I used, the standard cup. So I'm using seven of that cup and I'm going to parboil this for maybe like five minutes, five to seven minutes and then I'll wash it and rinse it so this is the tomato i mean the blended peppers and garlic and ginger so as you can see it's not completely dried but it's almost dried so i i took that off the heat and in another pot and this time a bigger pot okay i added some of the oil added my uh onions the remaining onions and i added some thyme added the bay leaves and now i'm going to be adding the leftover tin tomato paste you guys know i don't usually like to add tin tomato paste in my jollof rice or even when i'm cooking stew but lately i i started using it like and it turns out so good i don't usually like to do it because i don't get it right i don't used to get it right then but now i think i'm getting it right so i now like to add it kind of <laughs> i don't know if i'm making sense so over to the chicken it's been grilling for about 10 minutes and i just brought it out flipped the chicken over to the other side and brushed it with the remaining sauce which we mixed earlier and put it back in the oven to grill for another 10 minutes and it's done okay now back to the pot as i was attending to the chicken the tomato paste nearly got burnt please keep an eye on yours so it doesn't get burnt so i added the cooked or boiled peppers with the gingers i added some um, paprika i added some curry powder and now i'm adding the seasoning cube just one remember we added some in our chickens uh, in the chicken when when we were cooking the chicken so i knew that the one i added in the chicken was not going to be enough so that was why i went ahead and added extra one cube and i let it cook for like five minutes because we already boiled down the the i mean the peppers uh, which means that the sour taste or the sweet taste from the peppers have almost gone away so you don't need to cook it for too long so after that i added the rice the parboiled rice i added some of the um, chicken stock as you can see i didn't add all because it was too much so i poured just um, the amount i needed to cook the rice and then i covered with a foil paper and i'm going to allow it to dry and i'll keep checking on the rice so that it doesn't get burnt as well so here is the chicken all done i'm just going to drain some of the excess stock that came out from grilling the chicken look at that guys it looks so yummy look <laughs> i'm just putting it back in the oven because i don't have enough space 
in the kitchen to keep it for now so it's just going to be in the oven and i already turned everything off as you saw earlier and the remaining stock i saved it for later use so for the coleslaw i'm going to be using this already made <laughs> vegetable salad it's mixed with the red cabbage the green one and carrot so um i just kind of shopped it a little bit more because they were like all over the place the leaves was a little big and you know my kids are going to be eating this so i wanted to make it more smaller so that they can enjoy it better and also to make it look even more beautiful you get <laughs> so i added some mayonnaise that was the only thing i added to that vegetable salad mixed it and that was it so here is my shrimp fresh shrimp which i already peeled a night before i just kind of cut it into smaller chunks very tiny pieces this is just my preference you don't have to cut it this tiny if you want you can just throw them just like that in the pot so um to that same pot i'm going to be adding some red yellow and green bell peppers which i also prepped a night before i'm not adding everything just a little to garnish the jollof rice and guys this rice is almost ready after mixing all of this together i just covered it and let it dry the water completely okay and this is the final result guys look at the color look this is it <laughs> i hope you guys like this video i hope you enjoyed it as you can see from the setting of the table we ate this on my kids birthday party so you can make this for your family not just only on birthdays or occasions you can just make it and you will enjoy it with your family Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love